Because at the heart of the relationship that Allah has with us, at the heart of that relationship is this term. The word Rabb, He is Rabb and we are what? Abd. So what does Rabb mean? Rabb includes the one who has complete authority over you, the one who gives you gifts, the one who owns you, the one who has mastery over you. It includes in the sense of Allah even the one who created you. But generally the word Rabb doesn't include the one who created you. But it does include the meaning of the master in modern language. Older language we would have said Lord. But nobody really use, uses Lord anymore. We do use the word master though. When you think of master in English, what's the opposite? It's slave, right? So it's that master-slave the relationship that's being brought to mind when Allah mentions His name, Rabb. Any of Allah's names, when you think of Allah's names, what are you conscious of? These are, you know, Allah is the creator, Allah is the wise, Allah is the knowledgeable, etc., etc. But in the end, these are all names of my master. These aren't abstract concepts. There's a relationship I have with Him. You know how when you say Khaliq, creator, there's a relationship between you and the creator. You are the makhluq. You're that which has been created, right? That's the relationship between creator and created. But that relationship isn't necessarily a bonding relationship. For example, I can, I can manufacture a table, or a guy can manufacture a statue or whatever. Does he necessarily have a constant relationship with that which he created? No, it's not necessarily constant. Which of the names, that, which of the relationships that Allah depicts in the Qur'an is one that's constantly retained between us and Allah? That the, the heart of the matter is Rabb. Right? He is Rabb and we are Ibad. We are the slaves of Allah This attitude of Allah being my Rabb If it's absent from, absent from this discussion Then you will find people not acknowledging Allah's perfection These are the people who dare say things about Allah That are inappropriate about Allah When does, when does someone end up saying something like that? Even among the Muslims You say how come Allah says this? Or how come this? Or why did Allah do this to me or that to me? When people talk like that, questioning the wisdom of Allah and questioning Allah Azza wa in any way, shape or form, the heart of the matter is they haven't accepted one thing about Allah. That He is Rabb and they are Abd. That's what hasn't been accepted. That's the only thing missing. And so here, because this tasbih is being done first and foremost by the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, سَبِّحْ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ Declare and acknowledge the perfection of the name of your Lord. Your Lord, meaning the Lord of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Every time you say one of his names, you remember that he's the master and you're the slave. So how does the slave speak about the master? When the slave makes, mentions the name of the master, there's this humility. There's this acknowledgement of a higher power. There's this fear also. When the slave mentions the master's name, these attitudes that have to, they have to sink into a believer when he makes the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.